Today we're going to do a review of uh, Media Portal, a great replacement for Windows Media Center. In Windows 8.1, they made Media Center only available on the Pro Edition. And I'll be honest, I do not think it's worth the upgrade. Uh, I'm using my Quantum Byte here. It did not come with Windows Pro. And there's so many other great uh, Media Centers out there for free, like Media Portal. Why pay the extra money? Uh, now, a few kind of spec specs before I get into the full review. Like I mentioned, I'm using qu the Quantum Byte uh, Windows um, mini computer. I'll link to my review of it in the comments so you can kind of get an idea what hardware I'm using this on. And to control it, I'm using the RE i8 Plus wireless keyboard and mouse uh, touchpad. Works great to control it. So that's the hardware I'm using. I'll link to reviews of both in the YouTube comments if you want to learn more about them and on my site, cordcuttersnews.com. But this is the home screen. Beautiful um, welcome screen for uh, Portal. Uh, easy to see icons to select. If you're sitting on your couch or across the room, you can easily pick up what you want. Uh, Media Portal does have a full um, live TV function. If you have a tuner, it can work as a DVR, re play recordings, um, TV guides to schedule everything. Works great. We're very impressed with that. The um, plug and play nature of this was very great. I put in a external hard drive on here uh, full of videos and music and it quickly detected them. I had no issues with it. I didn't have to do any special configurations to find the external hard drives. Just all the media on the device, all the media on my attached external storage just played or was detected to be played very well. Uh, this is a video I recorded off of my phone. Let's hit play and kind of see uh, how quickly it comes up and the smoothness of the playing on it. So I just hit it and there it is. Um, there's my daughter playing on the floor. I recorded this with my phone. Great quality, smooth playback. Uh, very um, easy and intuitive controls to use for it. I backed out here. Um, as you can see, I'm now moving around the menu, but at the top, it still shows the video being played. Same thing with the music. You can start a playlist and scroll through the different menus. And you get that great icon at the top for playing until it finishes like right there. Um, same with music. I put several MP3 files in here um, and it worked great. No issues with it at all being detected. So we'll just kind of play a uh, little uh, file here I had on there. Um, MP3, it's already playing. We'll go to a very long one. This is an hour and a half um, spiel. And I just hit play, it came up top, and now it's playing. So file sizes uh, work great. We'll kind of stop this for now. When you hit stop, it disappears off the top. And we'll go and go back into the plugins to check it out. So plug and play nature, great, no issues there. If you have a lot of, of videos on your computer, you want a great way to play them, organize them, this is great. There's a lot of different uh, ways you can display it. Um, kind of like how XBMC has the list, the tiles, all that. It's all here. Now, plugins um, is a wide range. There's a few by default I'll cover here, but this started as a fork I read in several different um, articles about the service as a fork of XBMC. So if you go to their website, you'll find tons of plugins for different media servers, for YouTube and Netflix plugins I saw. There really is a wide range, but it comes with a few basic ones. There's a really nice version of Tetris on here. Um, if you want to play Tetris, you can do that. It works well. Uh, we'll exit out of this. Um, there's Sudoku, there's a news feed, and Tetris. So there's several there. When you go into the plugin menu or browse on their website, you'll find news services from Reddit to major um, CBS and so forth, YouTube video options, system, weather plugins, you name it, it's there. Uh, and then you can add different plugins here to the home screen, and so you get more quick jumps to the uh, plugins you want. Let's check out the settings. There really is a nice setup of different settings on here. Um, there's a general um, setup here we can get into um, set your volume, what happens when you want to resume it. You can um, edit the different settings for your screen, your resolution, scroll speed, all that kind of stuff. Really a lot of intuitive, easy to use, um, and very thorough 
um, setting options. Uh, some of it, if you're not quite as technologically advanced, uh, the nice thing about this over XBMC is it is a lot more user friendly to find what you want on it. XBMC um, has a bigger community behind it, which is a great point. But if you just want a simple media center, you're not very technologically advanced again there and add um, the Fusion database and all those things. This is kind of a very simple, beautiful, easy to use um, media center with a built-in TV, uh, DVR functionality, so you can do it all in one. No need to um, switch between sources to watch TV on one through one device with a DVR and then switch back to get your media plugins, your files, your movies, and so forth. There, uh, do list, there is Bluetooth software or uh, Blu-ray, excuse me, software in here, so you can go plug in a Blu-ray player, watch Blu-ray movies on it. I do not own an external Blu-ray player, so I wasn't able to test that out. That's something a lot of media centers uh, don't do very well is play Blu-rays, and some of the reviews I read were very positive about its ability to play Blu-rays. So uh, I, I highly recommend it as a replacement for Windows Media Center. Uh, do not recommend paying the money to go pro just to get media center this is an excellent way to have all the functionalities and more of media center free and a beautiful um, user interface if you have any questions or comments leave them on our website or on our youtube video i'll do my best to answer them uh, when i can and if you like what we do check out cordcardersnews.com or subscribe to us on youtube thanks for watching the review